solar energy seems ideal until you have to pay for infrastructure. But what uh, if you could use the same technology and create electricity and hot water both? Our next guests are betting uh, this will be a big hit in business. I want to toss it over to Chris Valerio. Uh, she has some special guests in California. Chris? Hey, Matt, that's right. I'm actually joined by two special guests. We have the CEO of Congenera, and he's the guy uh, that created the technology or that's with the company that you were just talking about. We also have the famed uh, venture capitalist that's involved in the clean tech space, Mr. Vinod Kosla. So, you guys, thank you so much for joining. We really appreciate it. Gilad, I want to quickly get started to you. Quickly, as basic as you can, explain to us why this is efficient, why this, why people should be buying this versus other solar panels. Every solar system takes the sun's radiation and converts about 15% to electrical energy. The rest becomes heat, and the heat is wasted. And that's an inherent property of every solar system. Here, we take the byproduct, which is the heat, and deliver it straight to the customer, which is right behind us, the winery. And what is typically a wasted byproduct becomes commercial value. So we have five times the energy of a traditional solar system because heat has a different value than electricity. We have twice the commercial value, and we have three times the greenhouse gas reduction. Now, at the end of the day, the only reason people would want to buy this is because it saves them money, right? And you just said that. So what is, how much, well, for instance, a Sonoma, this winery that we're at, the barreling place, how much would it save in, in a year? What, what's the save there, from, savings rate? It will generate roughly half their hot water and a significant part of their electricity. And from day one, it'll, uh, the, from day one, the system's turned on, which is today, they will save significantly on their bills. But how much? Significantly, that's what you asked them. <laughs> okay, but so okay, so you you're saying this, right? This is the the pitch. However, one of the questions being is that you really want to take this commercially. Um, why do you think that that's going to be viable at a commercial level versus an individual level? Because, and Mr. Vinod, I want to take this to you, Mr. Kosa, is that some of the commercial companies that you've backed before have tried to take things commercially and have failed at taking them commercially. So why will this be any different? Well, first, our, our solar companies have not failed. Uh, but very few attempts at solar uh, uh, try and achieve unsubsidized market competitiveness. That's a key aspect of this technology by producing five times the amount of energy for roughly the same cost and maybe twice the savings. But it's not unsubsidized, right? Because this is, had, this is partly funded by a $1.5 million research project. Is that correct? The research project does not subsidize this. It's for continued research on development, you know, deploying this in California and so forth. There are rebates for solar hot water, and we're very grateful for them, and they help launch and, and drive us to market and employ people in Mountain View, employ people here and so forth. But we have a shorter path to what's called grid parity, to being below fossil fuels on this technology than any technology out there today. We have a very short path to competing, and in some places, quite a few places, we're already below fossil fuel costs. Now, the business model that you have viewed for this is that you're going to pay for the installation and the actual product, and they're going to pay for the services. Is that correct? That is one. That is a preferred HPA, HPPA, Heat and Power Purchase Agreement. We install. You stop paying utility, you start paying us for electricity, you pay us for what we save you in gas, less than what you were paying. So utility. how much does it cost you to install something like this? It costs us enough so we can afford to make these very, very aggressive offers to our customers, save them money from day one and still make money. But so again, the question being is how long would it take you to, for instance, make up the money for what you've installed here? The paybacks for these systems are roughly half of traditional photovoltaic. So exactly where it depends where you are in California and so on, but typically half of what you would think of for a regular solar system. Mr. Kosa, why do you think that this company will be successful when others, for instance, like Cello recently that went under? Well, uh, we weren't investors in Cello, so I, that, there's misreporting on that. We've never been an investor in Cello. Uh, what I can say is there's few technologies, and the ones we focus on are ones that can get to unsubsidized market competitiveness as soon as they get some scale. If there are subsidies available, obviously any smart person will use them to get started. But the key is, if you're going to be a global company, there are no subsidies in India. Vinod Kosla, founder of Kosla Ventures. Gilad, thank you guys so much for talking about this. Really appreciate it.